Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Few brands have done more than Tesla to raise the profile of electric cars. And that's certainly the case with Ed Ma, who began his EV romance eight years ago. So in 2009, David, we made the big mistake of test driving this Tesla Roadster in Seattle, Washington. And from the moment that I got behind the wheel of the car and put my foot on the accelerator, that instant torque and acceleration, I couldn't think of anything other than that. And I would come home and I'd talk to Rhonda and tell her about it. Did you, did you hear this about Tesla? Did you know th about this about Tesla? And so finally one day Rhonda said to me, <laughs> All right, <laughs> just go and get the car. <laughs> so it worked out well. Sure, Ed got his Tesla Roadster, but it wasn't long before the couple realized they needed a family car. Then Tesla's Model X SUV hit the market. And we went, oh, this suits our lifestyle much more being outdoors people and uh, a family car. And so we wanted to get something larger that was more like an SUV. Like many EV drivers, Ed and Rhonda love the environmental benefits of going electric, but for them, the real clincher is performance. I think the most exciting thing about owning an EV for me is the technology and the acceleration. This car that I'm sitting in does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, and it's a sport utility vehicle, David. Um, the least exciting thing is I can no longer get excited about what I pay for my fuel. I pay the same boring electricity rate every night that I plug in my car. Instead of cruising the streets, hoping to save five cents on a liter of gas, Ed simply plugs his EV in when he gets home and fills it up for six bucks. This is our um, high power wall charger for the Tesla Model X. This is a, runs on a 220 volt uh, system, uh, which means it's the level two chargers. Running 90 amp circuit through here on a 220 volt system, we can recharge the car in less than four hours from empty to full. We often hear about range anxiety in electric vehicles. Ed spends very little time worrying about it. This car has about a 400 kilometer range. It's a 90 kilowatt hour battery. We take this car every weekend pretty much to the mountains. In the winter time, all season long, in the summer, it doesn't matter what time of year, we go everywhere with this car. That's right, Ed and Rhonda drive their Tesla to the mountains and back in the winter. Generally, on average, I would say um, the average winter day or te temperature, it's about 20% uh, range degradation. However, with that said, when you have a large battery, it really is irrelevant for your daily, uh, your daily commutes. Ed takes his Tesla on road trips all the time. Something he says is being helped by projects such as ATCO's Peak to Prairies project to install 20 high-speed chargers in Alberta. ATCO's doing an amazing job in terms of the leadership and building out uh, a, a, a network of electric vehicle chargers for, in, across Alberta. When I first got my first electric car about eight or nine years ago, there were very few ch electric vehicle charging stations. And what I tell people now is that owning an electric vehicle from a charging station perspective, it's like a bottle of fine wine. It just gets better over time. Ed says a full charge costs him about $6, but the savings don't stop there. David, this car has about 120,000 kilometers on the car. And we've only ever spent uh, about $2,000 on a replacement set of summer tires. And the reason for that is when you have a car that goes really fast, you kind of burn through rubber a lot quicker than the average car. On a regular basis, charging costs about $6 to fill up. Ed Ma and Rhonda Blair now own their fourth electric vehicle. And Ed is already pining for the new Tesla Roadster, the first production vehicle to do 0 to 100 in under two seconds. Listen to our series, Life with an Electric Vehicle. See photos and video at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.